Moshi Moshi Mami Gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. The heroes of the world, supported by the companions, shall restore peace to this world. Today, we are going to finish up doing the event. We're going on a drain, Vindy. What am I seeing? Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Power inspection. Good morning, Mr. Wheel. What about Kiwawa? Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again. <sighs> that already puts Paimon at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You can leave the dragon slaying to us. My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. You flatter me. What remarkable friends Her Majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, Your Majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. <laughs> Next stop, the end of the world! Yep, toys the corner. Until the end of the world, like Pama said. Uh, it looks like that's what the dragon is. But all the fog over there. Alright, you know, I'm gonna turn to someone else. <laughs> I could sit between them. Boy. Why do you smash? Okay, I'll tell you. Let's go. Um, I'm just staying up there. Wait, poke it? Why would I poke it? Oh, these buds. Okay. I'm gonna sit down with the girls. They look so confused. Like, who the hell is this girl in the middle? I am the naive. I'll let you So this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Yeah. Oh boy, he's getting purple. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. So, um, girls, should we hold hands? I think we should. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll be we'll be fine though, right? Attention, passengers. We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please. All change. <coughs> okay. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? Hilly Trolls? It looks like... Hilly Trolls, they've taken over that platform! Huh? What do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. Yeah, we could find... Can we die for this? Or we'll be like, nah, I don't think they'll let us. We got this. Yeah, Father Alden, my father does not got this. I'm good, I'm good. No, do it twice. No, swing with your 10k damage. Better than a million, you know. Who gives a shit? Oh, I swing at the at the map. Now it's done. Woo! Okay, get up here. Get up here. Okay, we just have to get the thing. That's it. Connect. I'll sit down. Yeah. My enemies. Great. But take this. Witness my. Ooh, sure. Yeah, I'm taking down your leader. I don't care what happens. Now swing until they're dead. Oh, I'm swinging. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why. Oh, Lynette. Well, strike them! That's all of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. All right. Look at around. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Let's keep going then. Oh no, we're done by now. Oh, I guess we'll take the next train, but hey, with a next show, why not? Oh, I gotta let them know first. Oh goodness, let's go. Right. With the nets, he's like, hey, Navia. Um, who's this girl next to me? Oh, that's Nilu. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Yo, what the? The shoulder. Oh, which are shoulders? You saw that? 
I'm falling! Oh, that looks fun! <laughs> Not scary. Are we okay? Go forth and witness this world, my... Mm -hmm. Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. You're speaking to us? Oh, are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine. But I think the traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky uh, this guy caught us on the way down. Uh, oh! I'm on a thighs! What? Scarlet Bush, what you doing here? <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. W what is he doing here? What? Ah, oh, cut him some slack. The travelers had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. Uh, but my... my leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, Hakai? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I go out of my way to see... Call Scarabou, that's his name. This guy, ...and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> Like, uh, I'm awake. He's awake. <laughs> Is that Scott Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. What happened? You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. I'm like, fuck, Ayaka's gonna kill me. H Hi, Mon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shush, girl, Ayaka's gonna kill you, call Manasai. Oh, no, it's alright. I-I'm just glad you're okay. Uh, no, don't really teasing us with this. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? Hmm. But it seems like someone was talking in my head just now. Really? What did they say? Go for it and witness the world. The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. A traveler? Nilu? Do you know this hat guy person? It's got a bitch! Oh yeah, he's a student at the academia. Well, she knows him. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Bahumana Darshan. Well then, hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you hat guy as well? Oh, it seems like that's what hmm. everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. I don't call him that instead. Oh, wait, <laughs> what's that sword around your waist? An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. In the ass. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. I'm good, actually. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. A voice told you what you were supposed to do here? That's what happened with Navia and Milu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. 
the dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Dust. Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! Actually, you can't blame him for saying that. Uh, look for the dragon scale around here somewhere. Well, okay, it can't be here. Okay, we gotta be careful on this part because there's some high and low steep areas in this area. Ah, the time bound and juggle the person but clean them up. Place spawns this special to toy terminal blocks to destroy them. Um, okay, I guess we'll uh, explode things. And let's put this right here. Uh, explode? No? What? Oh, I placed it there, explodes. At least I'm not staying on that. I would've been dead. Is that the one? Oh, I see. What I say? I don't see what you're saying, but never mind. They should do it, right? Wow, this scale is amazing. It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block. It doesn't seem to work on us, though. It spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No wonder they call it the evil dragon. Your Majesty, Madam Very Brave Hero! What is he doing here? <sighs> what are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel, you didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. Um, he's probably being asked to you, too. <sighs> See? Look at him. There seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the titanium mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. We well, find, don't worry. As the main character of this world, well, here we go. We'll be okay. Yep. Oh, my, ooh. We'll do some chess here, why not? Colorful tablets can equally set by world. Approach and use the interact button and pick up and carry blocks with ease, but don't get too far from the main part of the toy. While you equip it, hold the attack button to enter space specular mode. At the time, you can move the toy building blocks by glowing connecting points before releasing the attack button to complete the spiceling. When close to the energy points, you can quickly press the set button to easily prepare the spice. Okay, I guess we're doing this. That's what it looks like. Um, let me speculate. Is that good? That seems pretty simple. Is it okay? mm, yes, it is. Let. Wow, what's the city around here? Oh, look at this. Now I do look like some of those paper things just to get a Kiwawa skin and plus hopefully the skin gets the game on the Grand Pixie on it. All are welcome. And then I got this. Okay? Leave me, leave me, leave me. Uh, is that a rabbit with the blue clothes? Yes, it is. And this right here looks like a cat. That's what looks pretty easy. Is that the red tailed cat? What? Come on. Oh, squirrel. What? Fox wing green. It does. Okay, it didn't look a fox in first encounter. Not gonna line that part. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my other stuff. That's literally. 
Yeah, let's go on, cat. You want your cat girl? You got this. There you go. Let me out. I know. What are you doing? Oh, what? Oh. What the? Is this Jenga? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Is this Jenga that we killed it? Yeah, it does like Jenga. What the hell? Yeah. But there is something I think I need to get though. I'm gonna yeah. grab for it. Just, I hear it. I hear the noise. I hear the noise. I'm gonna keep on. Ooh. Oh, that way. Yeah. What's gonna happen when we fell over? Oh. So I was supposed to go here, that's hilarious. So go near the waterfall with the uh, okay. okay, so we're going. Let's go this way. So the dragon is like right there? That's it, really? I was expecting like probably more than what I'm doing with. We're gonna fly and explore the area. Okay, let's go Ooh. Relax! My god god what? What will that be for? <laughs> you almost fell over, girl. I was being whisk. I was being whiskey now, huh? Whiskey. I mean, it is pretty good, but still, be careful. Uh. Well, we made it, but with the force of this waterfall, there's no way we're getting through. Quick, take out the dragon scale. Wait, but no. <laughs> Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um, the dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so. <gasps> You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paima can figure things out all on her own! Uh, yeah, you you better place the block. And look what happens! Oh, it's turning purple. <laughs> oh my god, it's became Minecraft blocks, that's what it looks like. This is Minecraft. I mean, not really. Just, just toys. Alright, let's go this way. I'm actually curious, what does this dragon look like? Just blocks? That's it? Okay, we do need this on something. Yes, we do. And... Kaboom! <gasps> I lost some HP. Oh, God, the net, you dumbass kitty. Oh, well, well, why would you, you call me that? Because you almost got yourself killed. If you find a toy mechanic that are missing... Okay, you can use red toys block it, so we'll place them. Use pile alongside these matches to light the matches. So dark, so cold. Okay, uh, Lenny, the great magician, got this. I got this. Place it down and flame up. Hey, get your ass up, bitch. Eh, 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 eh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Take these. Take what? Oh, I guess this will go into my magic pocket. Huh? Is that some force field? You see that? Okay, it looks mysterious. <laughs> What's wrong, Milo? Oh, nothing. It's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. What? Huh? Why's your crown? Huh? When did you put your hat on? Exactly! What the hell happened? Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat guy also put away that sword around his waist. Yeah, that's right. And I was like, how does she... Was she holding her hat the whole time? Ah, oh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do... Do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone all serious like this. I'm the main character. I'm good, let's go. Come on, we got this. Oh my god, I'm being the, the main character. I could be Nilu, who's wearing no shoes. Or I could just be Navia. Ooh, not be Navia. <laughs> Pretty girl, let's be her, why not? Alright. Damn, this is like Whoa. a domain. Looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. Nope. Joy, we'll be the evil for sure this time. Joy! Oh, wait, hold on! Let's fight the dragon together! <sighs> They're already gone! Let's try to catch up! Like fucking idiot blocking looking Mario! Idiots. That's what I'm saying, Scarlet Mooch. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's keep going forward. I want. Hey. Oh, what? So it is a block looking dragon. Okay. Okay, Navia saved you. 
What? Oh yes, the axe! <laughs> I know it's Charlie Kill, but still amazing. I love the axe design for a claymore ability. Okay, well, do you gotta get the block over here? Uh, let me place it down over here, and then uh, okay, T over here, and then you press F to float over there. Wee! Are there any chests around you? I'm exploring. I don't think there is. Oh, there are some babies over here. No, I'll be honest you, let's try it now. Woo! <laughs> she should act like that, it reminds me of Ellen Joe from Zen and Zone Zero. But she has a spear, so... Let's keep swinging away! Boom! Headshot, bitch! And you're bleeding and still attacking? Jeez, you're crazy! Okay, that bitch is dead. Hell no, no Leo! Got it! The power of dancing! Gotta move! Float! What the hell? You trying to shoot me away? Search for it. What? Is, is there a bomb somewhere? Oh, oh, okay. Scott will one like, uh, I'm doing this. I don't wanna die. Please end my life. Okay, he's still alive apparently. Okay, I take it back. It doesn't do much damage on you, actually. That's funny. Oh, but it's going forward. It's just right there? Are you serious? Huh. I was expecting more, like, something, like, more like, dramatic-wise. I guess it's all blocks what we're dealing with. Like, you're just a toy. Let's just bring you up. Huh. This space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon sleeps. Yeah, same. It's coming. Watch out in front. It's coming. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying too. I knew it just blocks. Simulonka Evil Dragon. No, it looks like a Super Mario kind of boss fight. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Why are they walking? Yo, Scarlet Moosh, stop walking. It just blocks. It's not gonna hurt, right? Yeah, it's fun, hold on. Hey, hit me if you can. I'm just gonna stand right here like nothing's happening. Oh, but man, just gonna. Okay, never mind, it does hurt. Ouch! Do I just react it? What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna dodge? Wow, that's hell so lame. That's oh. I see something low. Okay, you can't, go, you can't get close to it. What can we do? We're mostly dodging. Uh-oh. Am I about to fall down? That's what it looks like. As the ground beneath your feet calls away, you feel the sense of wetness as you fall into a black mist below. Like, ah! Look, he's here. Ah, another new soul what? has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... What? What the fuck is this place? Is that... Water? What am I doing? I'm the dragon! I'm like, what the fuck? Are we above constellation metaphor? It's, it's the dragon! The dragon that destroyed the titanium mines! Help! Help! Soldiers, pick up your weapons! Destroy that monster! I don't think he made any harm, actually. I don't think so, actually. Damn, I think that's sad. I'm awake. I'm sleeping. Oh my god. Oh. 
my ass. Oh, my ass. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, oh, I'm awake. Uh, uh. <sighs> How many times am I going to have to save you? Did you actually pick us up or less far on us? Thank you, hat guy. Uh, Paimon still feels dizzy. Um, hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Yes. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. Same heal. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan. But maybe we should figure out where we ended up first. Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. Uh, Paimon? Hey, wait for us! Okay, we're walking. Am I still trying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be scared and do this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking forward like nothing happened. Let's just, let's just, let's just hit this. Okay. Like, I could just fold up. No problem. We. Oh shit. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Where are we? Wow. This place looks a lot different from the dragon lair. Oh my god. It does. It's like it was sort of Disneyland all of a sudden. Oh, okay, it doesn't work. Okay. I don't have to worry about. Damn. Okay. Let's keep going forward. Don't worry, let's get activated. This is like a monster. Uh, we're saved. If you ever double try this. Uh, and, and, and do what? Oh, I see it. Oh, I'm gonna stand right here like nothing happening. You don't care at all? What? And I guess we're fine. Okay. Place the buck tail. Okay. Um. Uh, he's over there. Okay. Ooh. Huh. Okay. Oh god, you're big. You're big. Is that a chest I see? Oh! <gasps> Free chest! Yay! Unless there's... Of course there's enemies! Really? Swing at them. How amusing. Step on them! Didn't do much. Attack! What the hell? How are you still standing? I don't know why you hit the healer behind you. I love her says attack. She has a cute finisher move. And boom! Right in the penis. Alright, that hurts a lot, right? No more kids for you. For me? I want kids. When I get older. Let's see over here. Is that the dragon mewing? Oh, you guys hear that? Hey! Let's talk! You shouldn't be here. What? He seems angry. We just want to talk to you. Please, let us talk to you. Is he, is he about to... Nah, we dodged that at ease. Okay, well that could have been us if we didn't stand it too long. Okay. Huh? Um, those are the key also, One up still, if they're tripping and falling on them. We're gonna dodge them. To the side. We'll be okay. Da 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 da. Oh. Dang, he's on his foot. Damn, no key while we heal. Oh, I'm easier. That's easy, you know that? Do I just fall over there? Um, 
How can I do th Oh, wait, I see it. Okay. Move out of the way. Okay. Connect. Now we float. Whee! Floating. Hey, Mr. Dragon. The Dragon. Okay. We're actually fine. Okay. Let's keep going forward. Uh, is it right here? Don't just stop here. Stay sharp. What? Uh, oh no! It was destroyed by that evil dragon! The, the stars! It flew away with the Metropole stars! Oh no! We, what? We didn't get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? See? Of course it was a good guy! Hi, You're getting too far away! <sighs> He's just up ahead. He walks Is fast! Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his past. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. Maybe yeah. there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. But now, he's actually getting serious. Prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. Mm, he's not wrong about that. That sounds a little true on that part. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat the evil dragon? No, well, we don't have to do that. Oh, oh my god. Wow, the pussies. They're running away. Is he supposed to huh? Okay, now I'm gonna be careful with this fight. Bounce up! We'll be okay! He won't hurt us, right? Oh, we're gonna be careful. This is like some sort of Mario level. Right here. Go! 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 I guess you do! Ouch! I'm fine! Okay, go to. Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Seriously? I'm trying! It's just, it's just, oh my god, she's getting her level away! Okay, she's getting her level No, Lilu, you do it! Wait until the map opens. Wait until the map opens. I'm waiting for this map to open. Oh god. Waiting till this map opens. Come on, ouch. Is your map open now? Okay, okay, okay. We'll do it now. There you go. Oh my god, I've been wasting. Nilu is like literally dying with Navia. Look, I'm bleeding! Tell her to Paimon! Cause she's a bitch. What? What the hell? Okay, uh, Scarlet Boost, you just. You just Scarlet Boost, you just dodge this time. Trying to dodge, but look at the oh wait. Oh my god, he is this is like Undertale now. This is like Undertale I'm doing right now. <laughs> my goodness. Okay, I dodge. Really? Okay, that's back again. Oh my god, dude. is this it? are we done? Are we done? Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. I'm dying. This way. Oh, here you look at dragon. Do I just go up there? That's what it seems like. You're dead. Fuck, 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 fuck. What, what, what do I do? Okay. Uh, main character. Watch your leg. Uh, do I just go? No, I don't. What do oh, I see it now. I'm the main character. My friends are dying left and right. Scarlet Moon is not even bleeding, but he's dying. Oh, shut up. I'm fine. Completely fine. No, <laughs> not fine. Two. Okay, we got HP though. That's good. Chip, chip. What? I'm the main character. The dragon. Oh. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Yo. No! 
Let me breathe, bro! He's not letting me breathe! Okay. Is this one gonna do my dodge again? I don't know what this is at, though. Oh, we gotta watch those. Watch those claw mice. Watch the claw mice. Watch the claw mice. Ah, oh, now you're doing that. Dude, can we talk to you instead? Instead of the fighting? No? Okay, fine. Let's just do this first and then we'll talk. Gotta keep on dodging. Hey! You're missing your shots, dude! You can do shit! You can do shit! You can do shit! You can do shit! <laughs> okay, let's keep dodging. Oh, he was a sh- Oh, no, not the shells. The red marks, the red marks. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Wait more. Yeah. Uh-oh. Double time, double time. Ooh, if I die from here, what happens? Oh, I dodged that! Okay. I'm just dodging left and right. Can I just swing at them instead? What, is that your family? Oh, he always been three heads. I don't know. No! Oh, oh, Waiting? 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 What are you waiting for? I'm doing it. Do I do more than once? That's gonna be annoying. Oh, never mind. Cause we're good. Oh, damn! We're bleeding left and right. Yes, got him much? <laughs> Putting weed on Scarlet face. Like, I'm a puppet. I'm immune to that. Okay, what what is happening Are now? We inside the black myth? What the hell? Only Scarlet sees this? Are you sure you want to create this child, M? Even after what I told oh, you, it is one of those. Fate. It is one of those witches. Okay. <sighs> he will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually. I know, B. You've told me already. That sad story with the disappointing ending. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? But that's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child, his heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya, but know that if Waka you walk. give him that name, his fate in Simulanka Hold is on a destined sec. to parallel that of his real world namesake. So Aryan is a witch in his world. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> like, give me peanuts, and I'll make it happen. But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but I have to try. He deserves a better life. Although he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent. Let me tell you a secret. Hmm. More boring fate talk. Oh, it's gonna move. Just why would he hear him? What about anyone else? Don't want to hear it. Oh, he's probably gonna tell everyone. <laughs> Mom. I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. It's okay. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. Uh... 
Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. Oh, we hold that. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. <laughs> So in the end, you're betrayed too. Oh, does he feel bad? Did this well, okay, what is this now? It's like, what am I looking at? I want to fly away. I'm gonna. What? I can't. F oh, what the hell? I don't want to be. Oh, one button. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this. I'm leaving. Wait, whoa. Okay, what's this next? He brought you some food. You must be hungry. You're a bad dragon, but you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't reach. It's okay. Just keep hiding here, and tomorrow I'll... Oh no, my child! Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! No, Mom! It's not like that! So you're hated by people too. Damn. Okay, is that everything we saw today? Oh my god, he's actually sad for once. What? That's so weird for Scott Mooch. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? <sighs> that's not a fate you should wish for. Nah, man. That sounds true, what are you saying? So, I'm back, bitches! Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Go on, Skaramuch. Now remember your name. Durin. Oh! You said my name! Wait a minute! What? You said my name? It's all right now. He's actually petty yet! What? But, but, but the ground is breaking? So, shut, shut, shut! Um, Ether! You're falling down too! Hey, is that cool and boots? <gasps> Kiwawa! <Yeah>. Wee! <laughs> Thanks, Kiwawa. Watch out! <gasps> oh, it landed on my chest. <laughs> if I was the me, I'd be like, <gasps> "You're pressing yours on my tits!" <laughs> that was a close call. Are you guys all right? Yep, all this to Kiwawa. Back in Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? Oh yeah, that guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. He floated out from heaven, like, hey, I'm not dead. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon, uh, Durin? He's fine. Durin. Oh, wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon Spine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? <gasps> if Paimon remembers correctly, what? it was created by... That was, is that his heart? That's in, that's in, um, Dragon Spine? Gold, okay, it's that, but... Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Created, you say? <sighs> so, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> it's 
Scaramouche tells you about your- Scaramouche tells you about the dog! <laughs> the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Everything I heard during the fall must have been things said to Doan in the past. Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titania mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. <sighs> who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why did they bring us all here? Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. Um, I'm gonna kill Scaramouche. She's probably his. Oh, I'm being. Oh, okay. Oh, you're so heavy, traveler. So, well, I'm not. I'm not the heavy. What the hell do you mean? I weigh like Is 120. A study? That's right. It belongs to the goddess of fate. Goddess of fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexen Circle. Right. Hexen Circle? As in, yes. Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say. It's just, it's a lot to take in. She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know, including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. Yeah. Got, oh, you you read that? Uh, oh, oh. Okay. I guess I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna read the whole thing. Like seriously. Um, I guess I am. Yeah. Oh, no, I should have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be N instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows how to push my buttons. Still, her magic never fails to amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, so she used her powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the ending in advance takes all the fun out of the story. I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. Hmm. Alright. Wait, is there anything else to wait? Oh, you... wait. Oh, okay. Can I go any further? Nope. We're on this area. Okay, yellow letter. So what's my this? My dear sister. <laughs> Add the leech up to weed. I fear my pen shall soon run dry. Even now, as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. Thank you for enjoying my stories and for creating this world for me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes. It makes me glad. If you ever want to chat, feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue. Just don't wish for anything weird. Like what, wish for a, a boyfriend or something? Oh, look it's at that. Simulanka Duran. And he's looking up at something. A star. 
This must have been after M passed away. This looks like... a mine. Maybe... the Titania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. And now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. The Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. I took my mom. Damn. Oh, what's next? Oh, we're going up there. She looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. Ooh, she's mom. Are you sniffy under your mama's pasusi? Why would you sniff that? It's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. <laughs> Don't say that, Durin! I Paimon made a mistake. She was wrong about you. But it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down? Oh, I gotta do a voice of him. No! It's spoilers! Maybe I wanna talk to me, but the one above is still terrified of me. So that's why you made that wish? So stupid. Bitch, you wanna fight? I'll kick you as right now. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> see, Scarlet, see? <laughs> Anyone with eyes can see that all you wanna do is get along with everyone. <sighs> you just wanna make friends, people to play with, to talk to, people who accept you, or at least accept your apology. That may be true, but I'm not sure the people to Sukumatha are prepared for is just a gigantic next door neighbor. Well, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah, if you had a heart to heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. Mm. What's your point? As long as I'm cursed with this body, I'm never be able to live alongside them. Every day I charge will turn into toy block, and it will actually reduce to a barren wasteland. Is there no way for them to cause this even if they come to an understanding? Mm, the curse? Huh? Milu? Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Oh, he went down. Yes! Fuck yeses! Then close your eyes and make a wish to the goddess of fate. We will help make your wish come true. Huh? Bah! Bah! Oh. Just trust me. Okay. I, Nilu, the forest fairy, give to you my blessing. And welcome you as a dweller of the forest. Wait, that's may everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the forest of blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too. As the uh Nekomana in Oh, world, she's trying. I give you my blessing too. It's gotta merge? The way of light, they'll come together. Wait, what's going on? There must be the map of the woods. <sighs> it's gotta merge? You gotta try- Oh, yes you are, here we go. I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Where's your head up? Also, speaking as someone who'd <laughs> like to be your friend, <coughs> I wish you all the best for the future. Where is your hand, buddy? Oh, there you go. Scaramouche! <laughs> Am I gonna speak? Or oh, no speaking? 
I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. Nice, there we go. Bye, Ma, about you. Boom! As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Did I did it become a human? Huh? My my claws? Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? Does this mean? Oh my god, he's adorable! No, I'm gonna play with Paimon. Bye, Paimon. What? Radical transformation. Uh, you can make Ash and Dragon. Okay. Wrong with the way you looked before, of course. It's just, uh, you get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them, or even just some water or paper from this world? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. Are you? There. They're not changing! I can touch things without changing them! Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for Paimon! Is that my pet? Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay. And... You'll come along and help me, right, Pat Guy? Oh. Uh, why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little. God. Some of this shit. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought. <laughs> come on, Scaramouche. All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you! You're the first friend to call me by my name! <sighs> He's like, fuck! And let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match! <laughs> Bye, Mod. Yeah, okay. Paimon just never thought we'd see the day, that's all. Alright, let's also head back up then. Uh, don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time. Oh, let us go back up. Okay, we're back up. Is that the it? Ta da! Surprise, everyone! Huh? Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> <laughs> street Lamp? Oh my! You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? That's Alice. I know that voice. It's Mom's friend. Alice. Yeah, Alice. Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. Mini it Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. Oh, uh, yeah. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved and with M's consent created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting a little ahead of yourself. First things first. Would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no. What are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't worry. All will be revealed. After everything you accomplished on your journey, you're free to ask me anything you want. Hmm. Let's start with your first question then. 
I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. And because of your noble and kind souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluff Sandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got a sign to roll except us? Because we were also... Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Why the fuck did you send us here? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? That's right. In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? That's what I thought. Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How? Were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the goddess of fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's M's reflection after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that, I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you, too. By the way, Minnie Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. The light is off. She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? 
Ah, oh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. <laughs> Look over there. Huh? What's going on? The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Huh. Thank you, Mom. Oh, <laughs> part three has ended. Well, there was a fourth one, but do we get another side quest of Gudu? I'll always do this one, like in the next episode, along with this one, depending how long this one is gonna be. Oh, but well, I'm gonna do that. Subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.